have you made the world so complex? On one hand, you have your intuitive mind, you have your intuitive knowledge systems. On the other hand, you have the analytical knowledge systems. And this seems to be a disjointed effort. And when you index on the, on the idea of individuated self and you go too much into the analytical, the tool making mode, you create a civilization which is always ring fenced. You're trying to gain an advantage. That is why the idea of competition, the idea of uh, creating systems which are self-sustained within themselves but are not codependent on anything else, that is the structure that you give eventually to your society and to the civilization itself. In that journey, you made the world so complex that you are no longer in a position based on your own evolutionary journey of your mind to deal with it. So we've reached a point where we've designed complex systems which we cannot deal with ourselves. In this crisis is an opportunity that is hidden. It's a choice. The choice is that the, the, the one index that we made, which is the analytical, the competitive, the, you know, the outward going kind of exposition. The other dimension is the next stage of evolution, which is an evolution in consciousness. There is going to be an evolutionary leap and that evolutionary leap is going to be internal. And this, if you are able to understand, if you are able to identify with it, the answer for why IKS becomes obvious. If the next stage of evolution is going to be an internal one, it is going to be about consciousness, it is about contemplation, it is about awareness. Where is the tradition of that knowledge? Where are the examples, the best examples of people who are embodied with that kind of consciousness? Where is that civilization which has the continuity to manage both the intuitive mind and the analytical mind? Where is that tradition of knowledge? What is that system of knowledge? So when we talk about Indian knowledge systems, the philosophy of education, the philosophy and vision of why we are here, it is because there is an existential crisis.